Good evening, or rather good afternoon, Orthodox family, brothers and sisters in Christ, among other Catholics and Protestants. And if anyone else comes, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists, welcome, I welcome you. Uh, the reading is Psalm 50. Uh, going to read it from the Jordanville Prayer Book. Um, let us begin. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with whole burnt offerings. Thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. <clears throat> Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. 